In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a very simple static website using Amazon Web Services Lambda functions. Now, a couple things here. This is something that you shouldn't do for like a production website. It's just kind of a fun experiment to go through to get a good understanding of what Lambda functions are. And if you're not familiar, Lambda functions are essentially, uh, you have a trigger, which could be an HTTP response in this case, um, that executes some code on the back end, and then a response is returned. So um, they're they're considered serverless because you're not actually hosting anything, but you do you are able to make an HTTP request and return a response. So this is all free. Um, it's part of the Amazon Web Services free tier. Uh, let me go through and show you exactly how to do something like this. So I'm going to go to aws.amazon.com slash free. And in here, um, if you don't have an account, you can set one up. But basically, they have these filters uh, by tier. And we want to click on always free tier. And as you'll see here, AWS Lambda is always free, part of that tier. You get 1 million free requests per month, okay? One million, and, and that could correspond to, if you actually do this, one million page views, right? To you, to whatever type of um, static website you set up here. So let's go through the process of setting that up. I'm gonna click on that, and uh, like I said, if you have an account, um, sign in, but it'll prompt you to do that if you don't. Let's click on Get Started with AWS Lambda here. So that's, this is what the uh, dashboard looks like for this. Um, I'm gonna create a function with this orange button up here. And we're gonna just call this, um, this will be our home page, right? Our function name is home. And you can pick whatever you know language you're most interested in, most comfortable with. I'm gonna stick with Python version 3.9. And there are some advanced settings under here, but we won't, we won't do anything under here. Uh, we'll just go ahead and create our function. Now, that'll, I guess, take a second to load. And on the next page here, you can see that the function was created. It's called home, and this is what it looks like. So this is the function that's gonna exist. It's called lambda handler. And it's basically at this point returning 200 status code with the, the body that says hello from lambda. Um, this doesn't do much yet. Let's add a trigger to it uh, to allow us to go to a web browser and see this text show up. So up here, click on add trigger. And uh, first time in here, uh, we will pick API gateway. And this is, um, we, we will create a new API for this. It's gonna be an HTTP API and the security will be open. And under additional settings, uh, we will keep these as well for the default. So let's add that trigger. And on the next page, you can see that we have an API endpoint with this URL. So I'm gonna copy that and open up a new tab here, paste that in, and if everything goes good, we do see hello from Lambda printed out on our page. So at the, at the most basic level, that is, uh, essentially a static website. Now, this isn't HTML per se. Let's take it a step above and return some HTML code. So um, if we go back here uh, and find our function, which is back here, a step to our home, uh, let's replace the default that they gave us, this Lambda handler, with something that I have uh, created over here and I'll walk you through it. It's a, it's more code than this, more than nine lines of code. It's 24 lines of code. But essentially, we're doing the same exact thing. We have a response down here that's giving a status code. It's also giving a header that says the, the content type is text HTML. And the body looks like um, this body variable right here, which is a multi-line string. And if you're familiar with HTML, this is just simple HTML code. So we have... Uh, an HTML header right here. And the title of that page is homepage. And then we have the body, which has a header one element, uh, a paragraph, and then an image that links out to my, my website. And another paragraph that says like, comment, subscribe. So let's deploy this. And that says changes uh, deployed. So if we go back now to that same URL, and refresh the page, we should see HTML returned 
and we do. So we see exactly what we thought. Uh, the header element, a paragraph, a, pa a picture that's being loaded from my website, and then another paragraph element down here. So that's really cool. Um, you can actually take this even a step further and have a multi-page website. So let's link out from this page. Um, let me see, let me copy and paste this code here. So after like, comment, subscribe, let's add another line here that says, uh, check out my blog, right? And that's gonna be uh, a relative path slash blog, okay? And this doesn't exist yet, but we will create that. So let's deploy that and show you what I'm talking about. So we refresh the page. We now have this link to blog. Let's see where that goes. So we're before I click on that, we're at default home right now. Click on blog. And that's going to go, to, it's going to give us an error because that page doesn't exist, but that's going to go to slash blog. Okay, we have the same URL. Um, it's going to go to slash blog. So let's make the blog page. So back here, uh, we will go to our functions, create another function. This time we'll call it blog. I'm going to use the same Python 3.9 and keep all of the same uh, advanced settings. So we will create that. Okay, and on the next page, uh, we can change the default code here. Again, I'm going to uh, replace this all with my Lambda handler. And similar to before, it's going to be a body uh, with a header element. This is my blog. I haven't written any posts yet. Um, and then the same status code and header type of HTML. So we will deploy that and our changes are deployed. So let's similarly add a trigger to this. Uh, it will be also API Gateway, um, and we will use the same HTTP API that we had before. Uh, for deployment, I don't know if we have to specify that, but for security, we'll keep it open. It'll tell us if we have to do, yeah. Um, I, f I don't know what the difference is between. Let's just try the first option here. We'll add that. And now we can see that um, the URL that we expected this to go to uh, slash blog is indeed what uh, we want. So let's go back to our home page, uh, refresh it. That still loads properly. Check out my blog. Let's click on that. And it does take us to our blog page. So header element, this is my blog. I haven't written any posts yet. So kind of a fun tutorial here. You can expand on this uh, as much as you want. I just did a two page website with some images, but you can add CSS, JavaScript, all that stuff. Um, I won't show you that in this tutorial because I'm gonna keep it simple, but have fun with it. Um, I got some other Amazon Web Services videos to check out. So look at them. And if you do, I'll see you over there.